Welcome to the Fitted Furniture and Catalogue tutorial video. Today we are going to show you how to utilise the latest features of the Virtual Worlds design package by walking you through the assembly of a fitted furniture run using Ambience Bain's latest catalogues. We are going to start by browsing to the Catalogue tab within Virtual Worlds. Select the Bathrooms category, followed by Ambience Bain and the Fitted collection. Here we can select the Furniture catalogue. Ensure you have the latest version of the catalogue installed. This may change as we perform more updates, but the current version of the catalogue is 930, shown besides the logo at the top of the catalogue. To add furniture to your design, you must first begin by selecting your range options. You can do this with drop down lists, or by selecting the blue photo icon besides the respective choice. For this video, we are going to select sample finishes and styles. Now let's find our furniture. We can add a filter below our range options to browse the catalogue product, but let's search directly for our first unit. Tick the search tick box and use the part code or description fields to find a unit. For today, let's begin with the two door offset unit. Insert the unit into the design and position it against the wall and 50mm from the corner using the reference tool. Now let's add a base and WC units. For these two, we can show how to use the filters. The type filter allows you to specify the product type you are browsing for. This can be set to base units. You can also add filters for width and height and choose their dimensions beside the filter. When you find your unit, ensure you have the correct handed option, such as left or right, shown in the product descriptions. Insert your unit into the design. The unit will snap to the previously added unit with connection points, positioning itself automatically. Using the same filters, we can find a WC unit. As seen here, bear in mind that some units when inserted can position the wrong side of a previous unit, not to worry. Drag them the right side and let go. They will position automatically to the unit once moved. Now let's insert some panels. You can search for panels using the part code field but ensure the options below the highlighted unit are correct, as these can insert panels of different depth or height, depending on the format of panel you need. Insert the filler panel into your design and drag it to snap beside the unit. Sometimes, as shown here, panels may protrude through a wall due to being too wide for the respective gap. You can change the size of this panel and drag it to snap back to the unit to correct this. We can find another panel for the opposite side to fit the unit we have. Search for your panel using a part code or filters and the word filler in the description. Select the panel in the catalogue, check your options below and insert the panel into the design. Make sure to use the drag tool to snap the panel to the right position if it isn't already. To insert a plinth, we must use a different tab within the catalogue called trims shown at the top above the range options. Navigate to the Trims tab and find the plinth that fits your design. In order to automatically add a trim, you must select a unit in your furniture run before you apply the trim. This should lay the plinth automatically for you when you press Apply Trim. As you can see, this trim doesn't always fit to the wall if a panel has been used. Use the Reference tool and Resize button in the Layout tab to stretch the plinth to the wall for you. Now let's back out of the furniture catalogue and browse to find a basin and worktop. Ambience Bane SMO resin worktops are found besides basins within the Sanitaryware catalogue. You can use catalogue links to do this, which are blue shortcut links at the bottom of each catalogue tab and allow you to switch straight to another catalogue from the same manufacturer. Choose your range options 
and insert your chosen basin. Selecting the basin unit within your design will ensure the basin snaps to position, adding the worktop areas either side of the basin when inserted. As you can see, this worktop either side is designed to run along our units and needs to be fitted. Virtual Worlds easily allows you to resize these worktop areas whilst keeping them attached to the basin itself. You can change the size of these worktop areas in two ways. Firstly, you could just select a piece of worktop to highlight it pink and change the size of the worktop. This works for our right hand side of the worktop here. The other way to resize these worktops is to select a piece of worktop and reference it to a surface, such as a wall. This will then allow you to use the resize button besides the width dimension to stretch the worktop automatically. Let's find some mirrors and a shelf for our design. The mirrors catalogue allows you to select range options, just like the furniture catalogue. Find and insert a mirror of your choosing. For this sample design, we are going to build up a run of three mirrors, snapping them together with connection points. Remember to use your drag tool to snap all your products together easily. Finally, we can add a lighting pelmet above our run. Navigate back to the furniture catalog for this pelmet. Make sure to use either the filters, part cord or description fields to find a pelmet that fits your space before you insert it in. As an example, let's insert a pelmet that's a little too large for our space. When referencing, you can see here that the pelmet shows a measurement of minus 100mm, meaning the pelmet is protruding through the wall by this distance. We can delete this pelmet and find one more fitting to our measurements. As part of the virtual world system, you can manually match finishes from one object or unit to another. You can do this by right clicking on a selected unit which is already textured with a finish and navigating to the appearance textures menu. This will acquire the photo finish of that unit. Now you can select another unit or a part of it and reapply this texture to it. Here we are reapplying our finish from our furniture to the lighting pelmet to match. One Virtual Worlds feature available to use with the Ambience Bane Furniture Catalog is the ability to range change. This is found in the Range Change tab at the top of the catalog, besides the Trims section we used earlier. Open this tab and make a change to your range options. Perhaps you could change to a different finish or an alternate handle for your units. Pressing the Change All button will swap all currently existing Ambience Bane units in this design to the new range options allowing easy visualisation of the range choices for you or your client. After adding a few final touches, such as props and a tap, then rendering our design, we end up with an incredible result. Thanks for watching. Are you curious to learn more? Contact us at training at logicom.com.